Hello, my name is Ara Ko. I'm a ceramic artist based in Washington, D.C. My works are mostly installations, and my work is about the ageless themes of body, architecture, shelter, and landscape. The piece I'm showing is titled Lifted Surface. This work explores the boundaries of what ceramics could traditionally do. It is not pottery, it does not look like clay, and it does not look familiar. You're intrigued by the texture, but really don't know what it is. It asks you to come closer and have a look at it. It seems like you're looking at it, but actually you're actively moving without knowing. The subject matter I work with is how humans interact with space. And because I work with clay, which is just transported earth, mixed with water, I portray landscapes. Sometimes the landscape is mountains, architecture, and for this piece, it is water. When viewer comes in and looks at my work, it transforms to something that is much more than just clay. Earth is built up upon time, and I tell a story of that Earth's time. The process is very tedious. It is labor-intensive, and most of my work, because of the repetition, seems almost obsessive. My work is painted with layers of time. Glazed pieces stack as time accumulates. I lay a bed of silica sand on the kiln and pour glaze on top. After firing, glaze gets casted on sand, and I fire this over and over until I get the desired thickness. The thickness swells up and responds to the one prior below. I always intrigued uh, by any types of texture and surface. This is a really great surface you could get only through firing. I really let that flame and gravity take over. Clay and time create a sedimentary pattern, visually memorizing the heat, the air, the water, and the process of firing and cooling. I'm very excited to show my work at our All Night DC representing the Korea Culture Center. Hope to see you guys there. Hi, I am Jin Jin Oh Kim. I was born in Seoul, Korea and moved to the United States after graduating from high school. Currently, I work in Washington DC. I use wide different range of materials from acrylic paint to found objects to create two-dimensional paintings and three-dimensional installations and sculptures. I believe my unique experiences have allowed me to boldly experiment with my work and appreciate differences. I allow the process to freely progress as an abstract image emerges. I use these different materials as a figure ground for my images. I find these at various fabric and hardware stores or in my closet at home. And I prefer to work on uh, pliable materials that will move organically, add textures, and hold the integrity of the added paint. These characteristics allow me to mold and shape the canvases to be incorporated as a piece of the work. My objective is to create a vibrant, visible dialogue among the colors, added objects, and figure ground. I prefer to work on large-scale paintings and sculptures. This approach allows me to use big sweeping movements to create a large physical presence that can be seen through the size of the work. In this exhibition, I present cool vibes which represent the everyday human struggles during the COVID-19 pandemic. This time of immense, unexpected and unpredictable challenges has forced us, humanity, to persevere, to hope and to find joy and even facing unimaginable difficulties. By intentionally incorporating bright colors like blue and yellow, cool vibes reflects an uplifting spirit that reminds us to always claim 
optimism and hope, especially when circumstances seem dull and unforgiving. Cool vibes remind us to choose joy and celebrate lives. Thank you.